Hello in this video I will tell you how to create wp config file manually to link the wordpress with the database so let's start the video here you can see currently when I go to my website it shows this error this is because the wp config file is not there so I will have to log into my cPanel And here I will go to WordPress to just show you an error that was occurring. So here you can see it says could not determine database prefix for both of these two websites. So let me go back and now we will have to go to the file manager and we will also have to open php my admin so as the error was occurring on two different websites let me go to the one that is under public html so here when i scroll down here you can see zero bytes wp config so when i will edit it here you can see that it's empty so we need to create a connection with the database that we already have over here if you don't have database then you can just get one so let me open the database to which i want to link it so let me open it if you just want to confirm which is the database for your website then you can select the database and go to post and here you can see the link for the website to which it should be linked because I have already a database but it's not linked with the website this is because I was out of storage and the WP config file was deleted so now we need to create a connection of the WordPress and the database via WP config file so we will create a WP config file manually which will also fix this uh, that database prefix error so that's the background so here now we are in the file manager and here we have the empty file and here you see wp config sample file if you have that you can click on edit and if you don't have this file then you can go to wordpress.org and here you can download the wordpress by clicking on get wordpress and you can upload the wp config file from the wordpress folder to your file manager so we can click on edit by the way here is the upload button so you can just upload that file and you can open it you can copy all of its content and you can paste it to the empty file if you have the empty file otherwise you can create that as well so here you can see plus file you can just click on that and create a file that is named wp config make sure to add the hyphen and dot php at the end so we have copied this and now we have to add the db name db user db password and we have to add the table prefix as well so these are the four things that we need to add so the database name you can find the database name from php my admin this was the one that i had to link 922 so you can make sure if it's correct by going to post or the options so when you will click on option you will see the link so now it's confirmed that this is the database that we want to link so we'll copy the name of the database so we can paste the database name over here and now we will have to go to cpanel and here we will search for sql by the manage by database so we will go to that because here in some php my admins you don't see the users option so if you see that then you can directly get the username and password from there otherwise you can search for this manage my database in the cpanel and you will find this and here is the database 922 and here is the database username so here you can see privileged users so we can just copy the username 
and we can paste it over here and now go back and scroll down and here you have 922 you can change password of it if you don't remember the old password so we can click on change password and we will click on password generator we can add the password over here and we can click on change password and now go back and here you have to add the database password and now here when you will scroll you will see this table prefix and here you will have to add the table prefix so that you can find from here here you see the table names so this is the table prefix wp5b and underscore so that's the that comes first in the table name so we can add this now underscore so that's the table prefix we can click on save and now let's go to the website and press ctrl shift r to refresh and clear cache and here no, you can see the website is working and we can again go to cpanel and here we will search wordpress and you can see that error is gone as well we will click on login to login to our wordpress dashboard or you can just directly login by typing slash admin over here and you can make sure that your links are working fine so if you see something like this error then you can just go to your wordpress settings permalinks and here you don't need to change anything just click on save changes and now just refresh so here you can see that error is gone as well so that's it for the video Thank you for watching this video, like this video and comment on this video. This will help YouTube recommend my content to more viewers. Thank you for helping me grow. See you next time.